Hello and welcome to the East Coast Rep Rap Fest 2022. We're gonna be taking a look at some of the booths that we have here today. Before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to Printed Solid for sponsoring my excursion out to the East Coast of the United States. Be sure to check them out in the link in the description. Now there's a lot to go over today, so let's get started. So we're here at Earth with uh, Drop Effect, yeah. Fata, sir. can you clarify that? Yes, it's a bit confusing, I understand that. So Drop Effect uh, was a company founded in 2019 um, with the aim to market the Omnia Drop Extruder. However, uh, we soon started also doing research in different other areas of uh, 3D printing, also hot ends. And when Fadus became interesting, they expand their product line and their, also their research into uh, 3D printing, they asked us if we can merge those two companies. And we did. After long discussions, we found that they're the right partner and the right kind of combination of those two kind of companies. Okay. So here you have your new hot end, the XG. Why don't you exactly. tell us about it? So the XG hot end um, has the idea to approach hot ends differently. Um, we wanted to have one handle nozzle changes, of course, but how can we achieve that uh, without infringing on any patents and also improving upon the designs which are exist on the market? And we found that kinematic coupling is an optimal system with a rigid structure that has um, a low thermal uh, conductivity through it because it has point contacts instead of surface contacts if you make it rigid. Okay. And so you can do one hand and nozzle changes. Still, it has a lot of options. Like if you can see that we have the mounting system up in here with those four screws you can attach to. You have the sound mounting options. We have attachment option which you can screw on for the um, groove mount, for the creality, and we try to expand that even more. Now, so, I have one of these, you've sent me yeah, one. Exactly. It has a, a four millimeter nozzle, so it's different than your standard V6 and anyone else. Yeah. How come you went with that direction? That's a good question. It's basically math kind of dictated us going for with the M4 thread. An M4 thread has less surface area than M M6, that is true, however, we have also less volume to actually heat up. So we have only 36% 36, 36 less surface area on these threads compared to an M6, but we only have to heat up 36% of that mass. So all in all, it's a more efficient way to conduct the heat into the nozzle. And it's the same principle we adhere to like bimetallic heat breaks. What they do is they try to do a very thin structured a steel wall and have a heat conductive um, outer, outer wall and that's the same what we do then basically and you here. have the nozzle right there too right because it's yeah. a little bit longer too than it's a, exactly the, the nozzle is longer than your standard one because it goes all the way through it it doesn't actually um, have a break in in the hot end itself okay. it's all the way through it okay. so the filament melts inside the nozzle not already in the heat break like a bimetallic or the standard other ones awesome yeah thank you that's basically our new product, and it's small. Yeah. And, and it's small. It's Everyone likes small. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and awesome. compact. Well, cool. thanks for talking. Thank you, Nero. So we're looking at, this is a five axis Prusa. So this is all new, right? So this yes. is, okay. Yeah. So, so this what's going on here? Okay, so it's open five x This is a open source project which aims to make five axis technology more accessible. It's uh, the work of Freddie Hong, a PhD student from Imperial College London. And yeah, it's, he just built this as a, to, to aid his research. Um, essentially, what it is is a Mark IV III with a gantry, which allows for uh, two extra axes of rotation. So this is the what we call the U-axis, which allows to, to tilt the bed, and then we've got the V-axis, which allows to spin the bed. Okay, and it can, can it still move along yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. So, the X? Uh, it, it's five axes because you got X, Y, Z, U, and V. Now we're doing. I've seen a bunch of test prints here, demo prints. Yes. Um, how is this sliced? Like, can I can I just throw a benchy on here and go, or is this so no, generated? <laughs> no, at all. Uh, the slicing for five axis is quite uh, complicated. We use a custom script building Grasshopper. Yeah, it's all on the on the GitHub repo, so you can find it there. That's the only part which is not completely open source, because uh, well, uh, you know, Rhino and Grasshopper require a license, but. Once you have that, which is a one-time license, you, you can uh, use the, the, the scripts as, as you need. So yeah, and it just, it does all the heavy lifting. So it computes all the kinematics and it's able to output uh, G-code files, basically. Awesome. So this is a, a good hardware demonstration. 
to try and get more people into the software development side of things so that people will be able to do this at home and make stuff other than demo prints for absolutely example. absolutely so uh, the hardware is is there it, it exists it's all there it's been done now it's time to work on the software time to generate standalone slicers which you know uh, are able to take care of this and don't rely on on, on software which is not open source because that's the whole point of the project okay. so so the hardware for this is just standard duet boards right uh, yeah so we use control uh, we have a duet tool right now but there's um, easier configurations now i think duet has other products uh, but yeah uh, the rest of the parts are we got some three printed parts the rest is all commercial of the shelf uh, and it's sold as well on the repo so awesome. there's a bill of materials and and everything is there that'll be cool to see how, how once we have slicers to take advantage of the hardware we exactly, have now, exactly. what we'll be able to do. So that'll be cool to see. Thank you. No worries. So, E3D, you have Obsidian now. Obsidian when, Obsidian now. We, so, we have what is it? Yeah. Okay, what is Obsidian? Well, Obsidian is our latest and greatest nozzle so offering. Um, I suppose the best way to describe it is for abrasion resistance for your materials that would normally run through maybe your hardened steel nozzle. But this is a hardened steel nozzle with a twist. Uh, it has the E3 DLC coating on it, which means that uh, a DLC coating is a diamond-like carbon coating. Uh, but meaning it's carbon, but it behaves like diamond. Um, and then underneath that coating, what we've got is a copper carrier. Uh, and then inside the copper carrier, we've got a tool steel tip. Um, and the good thing about the tool steel tip is that gives you that regular wear resistance which you're used to. But then the DLC carbon coating is uh, great for adding a little bit more, I suppose. Here, let's get an actual close up on it. So there is an insert in this? There is. So okay. what you've got there, I'll just go through it again while we've got it here close up. You've got the copper carrier, which obviously because it's all DLC coated, you can't see very well. Yep. But I'll put it down here. And then copper carrier, and then in here you've got your tool steel or hardened steel tip. Okay. That gets all put together, and then on top of that we coat it with our DLC diamond-like carbon coating, which okay. we sort of called, trademarked, okay. E3 DLC. <laughs> okay. So it's hardened all the way through. Yeah. Nice. And now, we'll, and they're available now, right? You can pre-order them now. You can pre-order them now. Yeah. Absolutely. And if you're at Earth, you can buy one right now. If you're at Earth, you're lucky. You're one of the lucky 300 people who can <laughs> buy one today. Yeah. Cool. The rest of you, sorry, it's coming soon. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Jason, LDO. Hi, everyone. New. Welcome to the Earth. Uh, Earth. And uh, yeah, this is a body charm. Upside down print, portable, and it could fit into a filament box, a one kilogram filament box. So it's actually it's a it's a kit from original designer Kirai Kirim, and uh, uh, my one is right there. Try to fix it. We have the SD card issue, but yeah, this one is the original one. The Kirim, the Pozhan team come here. Yeah, so yeah. You're, so, so you're working they, on bringing they, the they bring it here. here, so. We can have something to show here. Okay. Yeah. So you're working on bringing the Positron kit yeah. to market? Yeah, we are working on Positron kit. Uh, the first prototype already done. Everything is looking good. But we try to polish it a little bit more and try to upgrade some design to make it more easy assembly and make like more reliable quality. So uh, maybe next spring we will put production to marketing. But the little time of synchro mesh cable may cause some trouble. We try to stock it early. Uh, as like like the volume kit, we will make field kit send to Positron team to approval first. And maybe they have more idea for improvement. So okay. awesome. uh, next spring, that's our target. So something to stay tuned for. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.